there's a client who second year PhD student in history and African American studies at Yale and I make academic lifestyle content about my life as a graduate student as well as informational videos about how you too can access higher education. I am taking along for a little day in my life today. I just got up and took me for her normal walk, made my nice hearty cup of coffee. I did two shots of espresso today because we know the caffeine must be flowing to get this morning started. I have my documentary studies course this morning and I am actually presenting today. So I'm pulling together some bits and pieces for that. One of the articles we read for class was on Berkeley and the divestment of taxpayer dollars into this University of California public schooling system back in around 2008, 2009. And we are looking at an analysis of this particular documentary that was made. There's one question in particular that I wanna pose in class, which is who makes the narrative of a film? Is it the cinematographer, the videographer? Is it the editor? Obviously when it comes to documentary, most of the time it's the same person, but what stage does the narrative and subjectivity kind of enter into the frame? Subjectivity exists in film and in photography from the very beginning. I mean, you guys are watching this video on YouTube YouTube. I am the one who placed the camera, who decided what I wanted to say in front of the camera, chose what I'm gonna wear, and made sure that I also picked the music that is probably playing underneath this video. And so taking this documentary studies course has been really fascinating to me because as a history student, I'm used to using primarily documented sources. So primarily newspapers, legal records, journals, those types of materials. I'm not really a visual analyst at all and I am definitely not someone that uses material in my work. However, taking these classes definitely gives me a slightly different perspective, not necessarily on my research, but it definitely gives me a different perspective on how I can also think about transforming my work in this public space, so with YouTube. I make videos about my life, but I also have a documentary that I have to make for this class, which I'm pulling together some ideas for. So I'm actually really enjoying it. It's in the American Studies department. It's also joint with like film and it has some undergrads, some master's students, and then some PhD students as well. So it's a, it's a good mix of people from various fields. We've got people that are practitioners in documentary film or documentary photography. 
or in radio. However, I am not a practitioner in any way, shape, or form. I have my YouTube channel, but that's pretty much my experience with film. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some reading done. I already have started preparing my notes, so I'm just gonna keep on track and try to build some other talking points for the conversation later today, and I'll take you along for the ride. documents from your advisor. I'm telling you, it's like a different kind of high. I am here back at home with Moo. We had a very interesting discussion in class today about the kind of legalities of military commissions and the way that rebels were handled in the aftermath of the Civil War. I have these scans of the 1661 Barbadian slave codes. The original document is housed at the National Archives in Kew, England. And luckily I was looking through one of my professor's articles and it said that he was given a scan of the Barbadian slave codes by 
Stanley Angerman. And so I asked him if he had a copy and he said he did. And he has given me the scans so that way I can go through them. I'm gonna have to transcribe it and it's gonna be very difficult because as you can see, this is the text I have to transcribe, lucky me. But it's good practice because I would like to go to the National Archives and the Bri and the British Library when I'm back home, not back home, back in England, which, you know, I might as well be home because I love England. But that is what's going on. I just got back from class. I have a pro bono consultation. I need to run out and get a new laundry card from the property management group. And then I have a meeting that was supposed to be at six, but it's being pushed to seven. So I'm going to try to get a workout in, in between. So busy, good, productive day. My classes are done for the week and now I can prepare for the next week and get all of my client documents right and everything. What do you think, Mo? Hi, what are you doing? But I'm gonna go ahead and check in with you guys in a little while, cause I'm gonna sit here and just kind of relax for a minute after getting back from class and see how the rest of the day goes. <music> log into tomorrow. I have a working day and some fun kind of social activities. I've got a lot of stuff for accepted I have to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for tonight and then I'll check in with you all tomorrow morning and take you along for a day two in my life. So see you tomorrow. Good morning friends. I'm starting off this morning in bed because I am reviewing client documents. I got up this morning at 6.30 and started working on reviews, so I working on that for the next couple hours. I have a meeting with my advisor at 9. I'm working with him and I'm one of his other students on organizing a working group, so I have a meeting with them in about an hour. So I think what I'll do is wrap up this document, go grab some coffee, come back, and then I'll work at my desk for the next little while. Today I have back-to-back -back clients and then I have a hair appointment and then after that I have to come back. I run the accepted meeting. We have a team meeting today and then I'm going out for drinks with the guy I met on Hinge. So we'll see how that goes. But then I think I'll go over to Sarah's and we'll watch Scandal or watch some kind of Halloween-y type movie since today is October 1st. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some clothes on and prepare to go get some coffee. Danielle and I are working together this morning as per usual. Um, oh, say hi. Hello. Say I didn't hello. realize you had this. Oh, I've had too many screens up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 